Yes, another massive loss against the SEC. And no, I'm not going to stop talking about all of the massive losses the SEC continues to take, not only in crypto, but in traditional finance, because it just goes to show you that the SEC has no business being associated with crypto any way, shape or form, because they clearly do not care about retail like they claim. And the more we talk about this, the more this information gets out to people, the more we will understand that these public servants or these elected bureaucrats are not here to protect us, okay? So first off, Gary Gensler was on Jim Cramer, and when he's on Jim Cramer, he was just trashing crypto exchanges and said that crypto exchanges are not safe, that um, they need regulation, they need governance because they are manipulated. And on crypto exchanges, they can essentially trade against their customers. And the funny thing about this is he used NYSE and other traditional financial exchanges as an example, which is absolutely hilarious because they literally just halted trading GME earlier today because of market manipulation, which essentially is not market manipulation or whatever it is that they claim because it's just a bunch of people from retail that are buying a particular asset to knock the hedge funds out. And if you think about it, if the SEC really cared about the predatory practices of the hedge funds, well, not even that, if they actually cared about retail, they would not be doing anything and let the market continue to trade the way it is because the hedge funds always seem to have an advantage. But now relating to traditional finance, the American Securities Association is now suing the SEC for not giving proper disclosures. The lawsuit, according to the ASA, concerns the SEC unprecedented enforcement activities and the agency's refusal to disclose its records of these activities under FOIA. And the reason why the ASA is so upset is because the SEC's investigation caused them to pay a settlement of over $3 billion. Yes, you heard that correctly, over $3 billion. And the reason why this makes no sense is because the SEC absolutely refused to disclose information regarding the investigation. And we see the same behavior in crypto. So again, it's not just happening in crypto, it's happening in traditional finance. And at the end of the day, it's happening against retail, which is the largest aspect of the population the SEC is supposed to protect. Anyways, I wanted to go ahead and provide you all with this amazing information just to keep you updated on the insanity that our public servants continue to allow happen with our taxpayer dollars. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, set alerts. I'm Wendy O. Bye-bye.